Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you my church rummage sale haul. You guys probably just saw the, you know, shop along with me there. I was excited to finally kick off the season. It's been a long time coming. We've had a very long winter here. And yeah, so yard sale season and rummage sale season has kicked off officially. I went to two rummage sales today plus two yard sales. So this will be a few videos, you know, here because otherwise it would be like probably three hours long, right? <laughs> so I'll go ahead and jump into it. Now, I counted the items that I got. I ended up getting 39 items total and I paid $31.50 for everything. Some of them have prices on them and some don't. So we'll just keep that in mind, you know, it was $31.50 for all of it. So I paid essentially under a dollar for each item. And yeah, I'll try to let you know what they had marked on them as I go, if they are marked. So the first thing I got was this napkin holder here. And I thought it was really nice. It's just, you know, a basic wood piece here and it has this engraved detail on the side, uh, front side and back side of it. I wanna say it's wheat maybe. And I just thought it was really nice. It was only a dollar and People, I asked, you know, recently if people still use napkin rings and apparently they do. So I said I would go ahead and start picking some up that I found interesting. So I did. And then I grabbed something else that is, I don't think it's a napkin ring. It's probably like a mail holder, but I suppose you could use it as a napkin ring, napkin holder. <laughs> and I just really like the florals on it. And the green, of course, right? I thought that was super pretty. And they had 75 cents on that. It does have the, you know, two slots for that. This is something I'm considering keeping. It's definitely my style, so that may be a keeper. So they had a few things there that were kind of Easter-ish. And this one was definitely Easter, right? It has this really cute bunny here. And it has these eggs on the top with a wheelbarrow and the lid comes off here and they had some fake eggs inside. But I just thought that was really cute and they marked it three bucks. I thought that was, you know, a fair price and definitely something I'll hang on to for next Easter. So this here, I guess, isn't technically Easter, but I think just the fact that it's an egg shape just kind of made me think it was. But it's probably, you know, essentially spring because, you know, birds have their babies in the springtime. So maybe it's just a bird egg, right? <laughs> so it's super cute. And I really liked how it had the florals and the bird inside of it. So I thought that was a really nice piece. I don't know much about it, but they had it marked 75 cents. So I did pick up a few Christmas items as well. The first thing I saw is this really gorgeous angel here. This is a Holland mold, so someone would have hand painted this. And I really liked, you know, the angel wings on it as well. And it was in perfect condition. I didn't see any chips on it, which is always nice, right? And someone actually had marked 1973 on the bottom of it there that made it. So it's, you know, obviously vintage. I mean, it was obviously vintage just looking at it, but I really liked that. And this should be going up in my Etsy shop, you know, as it comes a little bit closer to the Christmas season. I think around July is when I will post my Christmas items, but yeah, I got that. So this is the other Christmas item I picked up. You don't too often see Santa in the snowman being chummy here, right? So I thought this was really adorable and they had it marked 25 cents. I didn't notice, I don't know if this happened in transit or if it was like that, but the bottom of Santa's foot is actually a big chip, like a big piece missing. But I just sat it down and it balances, you know, very, very nicely. It wiggles a little bit at first, but, you know, it evens itself out. So it's not that serious. Uh, I was going to put it on Etsy, but I think with that issue, I'm actually going to put this in the booth. That way, you know, people can make their own judgment on whether they think it will hold up well or not for them. But yeah, I definitely think it'll still worth the 25 cents. When I set that down, I actually noticed this angel wing was glued back on. Ah, I did not know that. But I mean, it's a really nice glue job. And, you know, front side where, you, you know, you obviously would display it this way. You can't notice it at all. You can see it just on the back side there. So... That's a little unfortunate, but I think I'll still post it and just, you know, put a disclaimer in that it has been, you know, glued back on, but I don't think it really affects the look of it at all. But 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. So this guy here, I guess is technically maybe Christmas. It's a little penguin and he has quite the interesting paint job on him. I just, there was just something about him that I really liked. He was not marked, but I believe she gave it to me for 25 cents and I just really liked it. There is like a little, there's an SS mark on the bottom. I'm not sure what that means. So I, I think it was hand painted but it could be something special, I don't know, but anyone that likes penguins and likes, you know, wants something a little bit different, I think would enjoy this a lot, so I do believe this will go up on Etsy as well. I don't typically pick up bells, but I, you know, I really like florals, so I saw this yellow flower with this brass base here, and it's actually a little bell on the inside here, and it was only marked 25 cents, so I thought that was a pretty nice little find, and I will be putting this up in my Etsy shop, you know, pretty soon here within the week. And I think, I think someone will enjoy that for the spring and summer season for sure. So I also grabbed this bird figurine here. I really like bird figurines. And this one is made in Taiwan. So it's potentially from Honko. I'm not sure the maker of it, but it seems like Honko makes a lot of stuff like this. So uh, yeah, it's potentially that. I really like how they have the bird figurine, but then it has like, you know, more detailing and landscaping with it. So that's really nice. And I do think I'm going to put this up on my Etsy shop as well. They had it marked 50 cents and price yet to be determined, but uh, probably, you know, around the $20, $25 range. And yeah, I was happy to get that as well. So I found another floral item here. It's this really nice vase and it has some weight to it. It has this kind of a 3D effect. The flower does pop out away from the vase. So, you know, it stands out a little bit there. And I thought it was interesting that it was black, you know, with a flower on it. I don't come across the black uh, ceramic wear too much. So I kind of like that. And it was only a dollar. Now, I did notice this when I was there. I thought it was a chip, but uh, I don't actually think it was a chip. It's probably just a manufacturer or whoever made it. Uh, it was original to that because the glaze is, you know, over it very nicely. And I mean, that's a sweet patch job if it's not, you know, original. But yeah, it's not a very serious defect at all and it is on the back side, so you would never see it anyways. But yeah, I was happy to get that and I'll likely put that up on Etsy as well. I also found this really nice amber glass what would you call it? Like a, almost like a pedestal dish, I guess. It does have some feet on it, so it's footed. They had it marked 75 cents, and it is in the, oh, what is this pattern called? Like buttons and snowflakes or buttons and flowers or something. I can't remember. You guys probably know what it is and screaming at me. I can't think of it at the top of my head, but I do believe it's in that pattern. And it's just really nice. It's a good size trinket dish. You know, so I will definitely put this up on Etsy as well. And I hope someone that uh, likes amber glass will get to enjoy this. I'd, I definitely wanted to pick that up. So I did grab the green base that was there. They had it marked 75 cents and I really just liked the design to it. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. So I was happy to get this for sure. It has a lot of great detailing on it. So I'll add this to my collection of green glassware. So I found another collector's plate here and I just really liked it. It did have the hook or some kind of a hooked rigged up here for it. It has the holes, you know, to put in a stronger string if someone needs to. It is marked Bradley Exclusive Japan. So, you know, it's a lot older. And it has the sweetest little kitchen prayer on it. And I really liked the graphics on it as well. So I definitely was gonna pick this up for only, what was it, 75 cents. That was a great deal. And I will definitely put this up on my Etsy shop, even though I really like it, but I know someone's gonna really enjoy this. So I really like the look of this piece here, and I'm a little confused by it because this here is flat, right? This was manufactured, but this is clearly hand-painted. I can see the paint, I can feel the paint, so I don't know if someone had bought this, you know, just plain black, and then they uh, hand-painted it themselves, or if it came that way. But the other thing that's kind of confusing me about it is the back of it. It has this here where you hang it, but there's like a little opening pocket. What would that be for? I can't think of it. 
if you put it on the wall, potentially you could put some of that uh, like wheatgrass stuff up there maybe or some flowers. That's the only thing I can think of. I've never seen anything quite like that before. It's very interesting. They had it marked 75 cents and you guys know I like birds so I was definitely gonna get this. I potentially might keep this myself. I, I'm i not sure yet but I do really like it and if I don't keep it myself I will put this up on Etsy for you guys. I also found a nice bird picture here and it has an artist down here, Art LeMay. It seems to be just some kind of a print on it, but I really liked the size of it and I thought it was really gorgeous. They only had 75 cents on it, so I was definitely gonna get it and it has a really nice wooden frame as well. So yeah, I, I'm i not sure what I'm doing with this either. I, I potentially might keep this as well. I, uh, it appears to be old enough that I could list it on Etsy, so I might do that. I'm not sure how well the thin glass, you know, frames would ship. I'm afraid if I shipped something like this, it would more likely get broken. You know, it's not like one solid piece, it's just like flat like that. So I don't know. If you guys have ever shipped anything like this with a glass in it, like a glass frame, let me know if, you know, it got to its destination safely. So I think this is the last Brick Brack thing that I picked up and I couldn't leave this behind. It is gorgeous, it has these daisies on it. It's a plastic tray here. They were only asking a dollar for it and I'll be keeping this myself. I, people say on my channel that they're like, wow, you keep a lot of stuff. Yes, I do. I, I resell, I'm not a full-time reseller, I enjoy thrifting and yard sailing always have and I live the lifestyle so you know I do appreciate all the items I pick up and it's just fun so I do you know probably keep 50 maybe even 60 percent sometimes of the things I get you know between me and my husband and my kids but I I do like to pick up things to resell as well it's nice to see people get enjoyment out of the things that I find for them so I do enjoy it. I'm trying to get a little bit better about it this yard sale season. Uh, hopefully I do better. Don't, I don't quite need as much. I've been thrifting, you know, pretty, pretty steadily for the last three or four years. So, you know, as I thrift, I get a lot of, um, you know, things that are more my style and it's just nice. I'm getting to the point where I can start to declutter stuff and replace stuff or, you know, things like that. It's nice to be able to enjoy stuff for a little bit anyways. And I definitely do declutter things when I'm done with it and want to replace it. But yeah, I'm hanging on to this. I got to find a spot for it, but definitely was happy to pick this up. So this video is getting a little bit long. I am going to put this into two different parts, just, you know, for time's sake, so you guys don't end up with too many commercials breaking up uh, the video there. I know that can be kind of annoying. So yeah, we'll go ahead and let you go for now. I'll put out a part two to this haul, so stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.